and thanks everyone for joining this morning. Before we get too far into the claims reporting and claims uh, management side of the presentation, I want to talk a little bit about Farmer's Edge in general. And so we are a global leader in digital agriculture, providing an integrated data and precision agronomy solution and providing that around the world, as you can see on the map here. We created a unique digital infrastructure that enables new levels of connectivity between the farm and across the digital ecosystem. So providing a comprehensive digital platform that is fully integrated and equipped with a suite of innovative tools to support decisions, improve sustainability, productivity, and then overall goal of profitability. We've turned data into predictive intelligence and deep insights to help farmers and partners make more informed, better decisions. And so when we talk about this digital agriculture ecosystem, I just wanted to show this, this visual here as well. Because as a leader in digital agriculture, we have been building the platform that is going to support within this digital agriculture ecosystem and help link the interactive relationships that a grower has with various vendors. So really one platform to connect growers with all the trusted advisors and create an opportunity to bridge the agronomic acre with equipment dealers, irrigation providers, advisors, financial services and insurance, which we'll be discussing today. And obviously there are more as well. The result is a, a mutually beneficial platform that all partners of the digital ecosystem can utilize. Growers can access, uh, access customized products and business channels can better serve their customers. And I also wanna mention, as you can see on the far right hand side, Smart Carbon. So Smart Carbon is a new solution to Farmer's Edge that we've recently released that will provide opportunities to add an additional revenue stream based on your farming practices. So Farmer's Edge is set up best in the industry for the carbon market due to our strength in automated data collection and reporting. So if you have any questions related to carbon, the smart carbon from Farmer's Edge or carbon offsets, please feel free to reach out to Farmer's Edge and, and we'd be happy to answer any questions or, or go through any additional presentation related to carbon. And so with that, I'll go to Carrie. So I spent around 20 years in the crop insurance industry and I'm happy to be joined with Farmer's Edge and seeing some of the things that they can offer to that realm. Within um, Farmer's Edge, we're hoping to provide an end-to-end -end digital solution that simplifies and enhances crop insurance processes. This innovative technology digitizes the flow of insurance data automates acreage and production reporting, and offer also powers efficient claims management. Two things that I'd like to hit on today in the presentation are going to be our smart reporting and our smart claim. So within our smart reporting, um, we have the ability to report our acres for the acreage reporting timeframe and our production for production reporting. Um, within Farmer's Edge, we have an automated reporting tool that will facilitate seamless data transfer from the field, providing superior user experience. Farmer's Edge digitizes the farm with connected field sensors to automatically collect data required for crop insurance on behalf of the grower and validate data at these key points. With Farm Command, which is our all-in-one digital platform, we are able to record planning events per day, easing the process of reporting. So during the acreage reporting time frame, we are able to get acreage by field. If we have a replanning situation, we can note that. And first crop, second crop will also be able to be identified along with prevented planting. With a simple click, growers can forward all their acreage and production information directly to their agent. So that's one thing that we've been able to um, automate and help with efficiencies. Within the smart reporting aspect, um, we have different things within our platform that we can use. The as applied map will actually show us our planted acres and where they lie. The date map will show us the dates on which we actually touched those fields and did the plantings. So that is where we would get our replant data, um, first crop, second crop, and just our initial planting. And then on the production side of the equation, we have our can plugs, which are installed in our on the farmer's equipment 
and we can get the verified production data through that and also through the yield raster maps, which are in the Farm Command platform. Smart claim is the other thing that we can offer through the Farm Command platform that is efficient and helps with the crop insurance side. So with Smart Claim, we are able to get access to severe weather detection tools to proactively manage the claims notification process to the agent. We are able to utilize unique imagery derived map layers and automatic crop health change detection tools to help assess potential crop damage. And we're also able to obtain Smart Claim alerts. These alerts are communicated in the event of hail, heavy rainfall, high heat, frost, warnings, and high wind gusts. On this slide, we are able to see that the severe weather monitoring can be captured in these maps that will be sent directly to the grower. So this map, I know it's hard to see, but it shows a hail event that had occurred and it shows us within the field where the biggest portion of the damage occurred, the size of the hail, the date, time, et cetera, from the weather station that is on the field. We are able to gather a lot of that data. Um, when that happens, you will be sent an alert to your phone, so you would get the hail alert, or if it was rain, wind, high temperature, low temperature, that would all come, and then you're able to forward a notice of loss to your agent with this information. Um, within the Farm Command platform, we also have the automatic crop health change detection maps and NDVI that we can actually see if we have an event, how that impacts the field throughout the rest of the growing season. So we can see if it's getting worse, getting better, and also keep our agent um, informed from that aspect. Some benefits for the grower um, is that everything that we're doing here is insurance industry approved. So all reports are developed in collaboration with our insurance partners for seamless integration. We are also helping to reduce the manual paperwork. Um, we're not having to wait here in the US for the 578s to get done at the FSA office. We can actually, as soon as planting's done, upload our documents directly to our agent who can then pass those to the AIP, saving us time and also giving us access. If we have a replant claim early in the season, we can get our checks earlier because those acres will be certified um, more timely. All our data is also in one place, making it easy to visualize, analyze, and understand to help us for our profitability and productivity throughout that growing season. And the farmer also has control of his own data and can create a seamless connection to any of your trusted advisors. Um, and we're highlighting here the insurance advisor. So those are some benefits that we see on the farm side. Next, I'm gonna let Chris take over and he's actually gonna give us a live demo of some of these things and how they work within our farm command platform so that you can see how easy it is to use and how that can correlate to your farm. Awesome. Thanks, Carrie. And let me just turn the screen off here. Yeah, so that's exactly what we'll do here today, um, just to showcase some of the features that we've been discussing in terms of smart claim and smart reporting, specifically looking at the acreage reporting and how that's built in within Farm Command. Um, so just taking a look at Farm Command and the platform here, you can see some field borders. And what I want to start off with showing is talking about how the data is collected, how that planting information is pulled from the planting tractor and stored within Farm Command. So there are a variety of different ways that we can pull this information into Farm Command. As Kerry mentioned earlier, we do have a telematics device that we call a CAM plug that we install in every one of our customers' pieces of machinery. And so that's the tractors, sprayers, combines, and they're collecting data every time that machine makes a field pass, both about equipment specific information like speed and location and acre productivity and fuel consumption, but then also the rates of application, the dates and the product, and when we talk about harvest as we're creeping up on soon, the yield information that's coming off of those machines. Now the advantage to the cam plug is the data is collected automatically. With that device installed, there's no USB stick, there's no manual process required to get, get the information from the cab of the machine to the cloud and then into Farm Command as we see it here. Another value point for Farmers Edge Solutions is, you know, it depends how many machines you have. Maybe you have two or three tractors, a sprayer, two or three combines. There's no additional cost per cam plug to have those installed. Those are all included under within our solutions 
So if you have two sprayers and five can, uh, five combines, they're going to get a cam plug in each one at no additional price. So let's look at some of the information. And Kerry showed some visuals earlier in the presentation, but here we see an application map for seed. So this is a soybean application map where we're doing barrel braid applications of seed. We can see the total field area, the acre covered. We can see the legend indicating the rates of application in 1,000 seeds per acre, and then also seeing the date. So all of this information displayed in Farm Command as we can visualize here. We also have some additional maps like a date map that displays how many acres were planted on a specific day and where in those fields they were, they were planted. And any one of these layers can be downloaded to a PDF just by clicking the download button here. So like I mentioned, the main way that we're collecting this data and information is through the CAM plug, but, but it's not the only way. We can do a manual download process with a USB stick and upload that to Farm Command. We do have API integrations from PML Connect and AFS Connect through New Holland and Case, and very soon we'll have the connection to John Deere Operations Center as well to have the information that is already being stored and produced within those platforms available within Farm Command as well. So trying to reduce as much double entry as possible in those cases. So like I mentioned, having the CAM plug installed is the easiest way and the most automatic way, but we do have other resources to get that data from a platform or a rate controller into Farm Command so we can utilize some of the services we're talking about here today. So I'm gonna jump back into another area here. I'm going to go to reports. I'm going to select our insurance reports and select an acreage report. And so I'm gonna create a new acreage report. And so this is the source document that I'm able to utilize to send information automatically to some insurance providers that we're currently working with, for example, Hudson, but then also be able to download this to a PDF or email it directly to any other stakeholder I need to based off of the information that I filled in. So I've got my insurance provider selected you can see we have planted area by crop. So I have corn and soybeans with this demo account, zero acres so far. I can fill in an, a policy number manually uh, to have that imp information input. And then down below we have our acreage information. So this is where I'm able to select that application map that we were looking at in the previous area. I can select those so that we start seeing on the right hand side our planting start date and our planting end date changing accordingly based off of the, the maps that we saw in, in, the, in the map. Um, and then our total planted area increased as well. So as I go through selecting the planting layer, you can see the total planted area here is added. The total planted area at the bottom here is increasing compared to total field acres. And then at the top here, you can see my total planted area is increasing for each crop as I go through each one of these fields. So it's a very easy process right now to select these planting layers. In the future, this is gonna be a more automatic process even further. So collecting the data automatically, but then also because our system has logic built in to understand based off of timing and what was applied and the rates that were applied, we can predict which is the planting layer, have that information filled in automatically so that we can have the, the total planting area um, completely filled in and, and we're just doing a confirmation. I'm going to jump to another area here and look at a, an account where I have this completely filled out. So I'm going to create from latest saved report, so something that I've been working on in the past here already. You can see on this account I've got planted area by crop where we have all of the crops and all of the acres filled in. Scrolling down, we have a planting date and planting layer selected for each one of these fields. And so the next step within this process is allowing us to take action. So I can take action and send this report to a contact. I can send this directly to an insurance provider like Hudson, where they will receive the acreage report source document and the planting files. I can also select an email address that I've added in to have that information sent or I can download an acreage report by hitting save and submit and having that report created here. So I can print this, download it, or however functionality I need to create with this acreage report PDF. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward process from understanding 
how the data is collected through the cam plug or a variety of different sources, being able to visualize that planting data in farm command and from a farmer's perspective, and, and I'm a farmer as well, I always treat applied data as confirmation of what I plan to apply was actually applied within the field. And then how that can translate to an acreage report source document to make that claim or make that reporting process uh, a lot simpler. And, and although we didn't show it here this afternoon as it relates to production, we'd be able to provide similar information on a yield mapping and a yield report standpoint as well. But a question that I get asked often as it relates to the acreage report documents is, is who fills out this information? Who completes this source document? And, and it can be a variety of different users. Obviously within the Farmer's Edge team, we have a dedicated boots on the ground team that is meant to support in training our partners and our farmers so that they can get comfortable utilizing the platform on their own. So it can be somewhat of a learning process, getting familiar with the platform to get to a point where a customer and a farmer would be able to fill this information in at any point on their own, but then obviously have the support of ourselves and, and any partners they may be working with to fill that information in as well. I also, Chris, would like to add, we get questioned a lot on like, what is the cost of being a Farmer's Edge customer? So we have our smart platform, which is actually available through our progressive grower program. Here we are. And um, we have a year that you can get that for free with a, so you're able to see the benefits and aspects of everything that it can offer. Um, so actually, if you're interested in trying that out, then we ask that you contact us and we can get you set up. Yeah, exactly. So given the opportunity to try the Farmer's Ed services, you know, the entire platform and, and lots of which we weren't able to show today in, in the time allotted, because there is a lot of, of useful value to be pulled from the platform. But of course, get the chance to, to understand the value in the, in the free trial and then be able to utilize the platform in the years following. So if you do need any more information, please feel free to reach out to us at info at farmersedge.ca to get started. Um, or to find out some details um, more so in depth into the platform. <music>